Sup, dogs, and welcome to Hide Heart. It is a browser based RPG maker game, which means it has to have been made in MV, and you guys could probably tell that's made in MV based on, well, just by looking at it. And being a browser game, that also explains the uh, borders that you see instead of the typical black borders, and I gotta say, I kinda like it. It's kinda neato. Anyways, it was a game that was recommended to me by one of my longtime viewers, so thank you very much for recommending it to me. You know who you are. It has roughly four alternative endings. Depending on how long this game is, we may or may not play for all four of them. Other than that, this game is is like a play on one of those old school horror or old school stories about how you hear about some escape convict on the radio, but instead it's a mentally unstable person who's also very dangerous. So that said, I think we're playing as a student or just some average Joe Schmo who's very unlucky and had to uh, had this guy stalking. Oh god. So as I was saying, I'm thinking that we're gonna play as random Joe Schmo who got very unlucky and is getting get, get a t gonna get attacked by this unmentally stable person. It was Wednesday. I'm not completely sure. It was Wednesday, right? It was 9.25 p.m. though. I remember that for some reason. Weird, right? Anyway, I, I had just gotten back to my dorm. Okay, so it is a student. I was kind of annoyed because I had instant noodles for like the 10th time this week, that week. So I decided to check my emails, get in bed, and switch between the same three apps on my phone until I fell asleep. The usual, yeah, you know, Facebook, Tinder, Instagram, the usual. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Nothing is on fire yet. I don't need this. Just books and things. Ugh, I should really move my clothes in here. It's completely empty otherwise. Oh, oh yeah, she just moved into her dorm. What are you studying, girl? What year are you? Tell me more. I need to know who you are. Boxes of clothes that should be in the closet, but they're obviously not. Wait, you, do you already have homework? I thought you just moved in. Yeah, she walks so slow. The unpredictable of humanity. I think Anne left this book here. Read it. Sometimes the power of our emotions can cause us to do things we never thought we would. Then we would realize in an instant the mistakes we had made and immediately begin to amend our misdeeds. In some instances though, when we realize that we are too far gone for reconciliation, we embrace the misdeed and we become one with it. Alrighty then, that's enough of that. Hey, I like how me and her have like the same mentality. Same thoughts. A picture of me and Todd. Ooh, is Todd my boyfriend? I should check my emails. Looks like I have a few. Dr. M, sick name. Dear Kate, I thought our session on Monday was Monday was very productive. I feel like you are slowly starting to forgive yourself, and this is a great step forward. Oh, something uh, something terrible happened. Let me know if the same time on Monday works for you. Have a great rest of the day, with Dr. M. All right, let's see what's from Todd. <laughs> hey, babe. Not sure if you still check your email, but I just wanted to let you know that I love you. Lol. Just because I can, Todd. Oh, that's kind of cute. You think that they would just be texting, but no, that's kind of sweet. <clears throat> Unless it's creepy. Tell me, guys, is is that creepy? I mean, tell me, girls, is that creepy? Ah, <laughs> uh, fine. I'll send you a few bucks just because I love you, and I know you're getting sick of instant noodles. Love you, zo zo zo, mom. Wait, why does she email me? Maybe she's like super old school and doesn't do texting yet. That must be it. Am I sleepy? Nah, I'm not, not sleepy yet. Oh, did I hear a knock at the door? Ooh, guys, don't look. She's taking a shower. Jesus. Just the bathtub's own. Oh, I mean, good thing she's not taking a shower. That would be weird. You guys wouldn't want to see that, right? I don't need to go yet. All right, well, fine. Checks, what? Check sink. It's just a sink. Well, there's some dental floss. I guess I'll take it. Baked up extra strength dental floss. Yes, because I desperately need it right now. Inspect items in the menu for descriptions. Thanks. 
Hello, gorgeous. It's so strong, they show a guy lifting a brick with it in the commercials. Hey, that's that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Imagine if it if we get like attack and we lose HP and then it just heals us. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome. Alright. I'm tired, I don't wanna leave. Alright. Jesus, push your chair in. This is a hazard. You could trip on it. Come on, girl. Safety first. Yep, I'm sleepy. Okay, I'll go to sleep. And by sleep, I mean scroll quick, Graham, until my eyes roll to the back of my head. Oh yeah, so she doesn't need tender. She she got Todd. Who could that be? The other one must be Snapchat, or in this case, uh, Snipchat. It was Anne, a new friend I met in one of the, my classes. Oh, hey Anne, what? Oh my. Gosh, Kate, let me in! You're not going to believe this! It was always up, to some, up on gossip, so I thought she was going to dish some dirt on me. But what I heard next, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Jeez, Anne, calm down. What's up? What's wrong? Oh my gosh! Kate, it's madness out there. This is really freaking me out. Just what? Just tell me what's wrong. She was paler than usual, and her hands were pink and clammy. Just listen to this. She took out a little radio from her pocket and she turned the volume up. Oh, this must be old school before cell phones was a thing. Duh, why else would it be radios? Breaking news, 22 year old Jacob Miller escaped police custody. Oh, that's pretty dope. Tonight before, la la la, responsible for murder of girlfriend, Mindy Adams and classmates, Emil Emily Smith, girlfriend. Oh, girl space friend, gotcha. Police still trying to blah 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 connection between the two murders. Blah blah blah. blah. <gasps> Wait, I'm getting a blah blah, blah update. Blah, blah blah. They say that police are sweeping blah blah, blah to search. Police advise citizens of blah blah, blah blah town, including blah 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 university, to stay off the streets tonight. Call your local blah, 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 police department if you have blah, 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 information on this man's location. Citizens are advised not to approach blah, 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 blah. he is blah, 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 considered dangerous and blah, 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 mentally unstable. Again, blah, 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 blah. if you see this man, blah, 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 call the police immediately. Damn. I know, it's scary. Everyone's locking their dorms rooms and turning out their lights. We should do the, be doing the same, right? Like, this isn't some kind of joke, right? No, I don't think so. Well, I, I just made her voice very manly right there. I don't think this is a joke. You should go back to your room, Anne. Lock your door and turn out your lights, and I'll do the same. Okay, I, I guess. Just stay safe. Wouldn't it be smarter to stay with a friend? Don't they usually say that, like, when something dangerous is happening, do not stay alone. Stay with at least a friend, if not a family member. Or, or leave town. <laughs> Remember, you can text me if something happens. So they do have cell phones. Like, if you hear a noise and it freaks you out, or if, well, like, anything happens. Don't be so paranoid, Anne. If you hear anything, you can always text me. Thanks, Kate. Good night. Night. Uh-oh. I decided to turn off my lights and lock my door just as I told Anna. Wait, she forgot her book! Man, now she's gonna be bored tonight. Alright, maybe I shouldn't go to sleep yet. Maybe I can just lay in my bed for a while. Or I could use my laptop. My, my, my lab top. The internet might call me. Alright. Oh wait, 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 wait! This is my choices. These are my choices. And let's let's look up this guy, Jacob Miller, age twenty-two. Wow, how is he able to escape so well and so young? Or maybe that's the thing. Young ones are the most elusive ones. Charged for the murders of longtime girlfriend Mindy Adams and her best friend Emily Smith, was accused on account of an eyewitness. While in custody, Miller confessed to the murders of both Mindy Adams and Emily Smith, but has not expressed a motive. 
Autopsy's results reveal both ad victims were stabbed in the stomach with a knife, and both victims died of blood loss of blood. Alert! Killer Jacob Miller has escaped custody. Citizens of blah 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 are advised to stay indoor and alert police on any information regarding his location. This criminal has been categorized as mentally unstable, armed, and incredibly dangerous. Citizens of blah blah blah, blah and students at blah, blah 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 university should take necessary precautions. Alrighty. Well, uh, why don't you just uh, send your bae a text and be like, Babe, I'm a little scared. Can you come over and we stay safe together? Or I go to your place or, you know, one or the other. Attended blah, 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 blah university. Stabbed to death by boyfriend Jacob Miller. Oh, uh, that's what they meant by girlfriend. I thought they were saying that those two persons that they listed were girls and friends. <laughs> Her close friend Emily Smith was murdered the next day. Police have a few ideas of in terms of motive. But none of these predictions have been confirmed. Uh, suspicious indeed. S Emily Smith, 22, attended blah, 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 university. Stabbed to death by Jacob Miller. Police cannot confirm if Emily Smith and her killer had a personal connection. Police are still stumped on a motive. Alright, well, um, that was, that was... Ooh. What was that? What was that? <clears throat> what was that? Uh, no, no way. That's why you should stay together instead. Where? Where? Don't just... He's trying to break down the door. Don't just stand there. Exactly! Uh, 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 oh god, in the grater. Oh snap, you can hide in a vent? Wait, what, what if he tries to use the vent as an escape route? I'm scared. I mean... Usually, in this case... It's unlikely that they'll be a ser serial killer and just kill anyone, right? He's probably... What, like, why, why is he here, though? He went into the bathroom. Now's my chance to escape. Damn, this is this is pretty cool. Wow, that's really neat. Oh, never seen a uh, crawling sprite before. It, it's kind of funny looking from this angle, right? <laughs> she kind of looks like a baby from this angle. And this one's it's okay, but damn, her hair really, really jiggles when jiggles, really moves when she goes through. All right. Let's let's continue. Maybe maybe we'll end up where my friend is, and we'll we'll be safe together. Or maybe I'll I'll bring. Oh, this one won't budge. Or maybe I'll accidentally bring him to me, and then it'll be very very awkward. Hmm. You know, if you have your cell phone, you could call nine one one right now. Yes, it came off. I wonder where I ended up. The storm seems empty for now. Maybe I should just hide here for a while. Oh, save station. Also, why do these vents come off so easily? I thought they get screwed in or something. Two dates are circled on this calendar. One is on September 21st with red hearts. The second is on September 29th with furiously circled in black pen. Oh god, did I awkwardly end up in his... It's, what the heck is with that picture? <laughs> Are you guys seeing that? It's like, BAM! The computer boots up. Awesome. Mindy. Mindy. Who is Mindy? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I know this. What month is it? Alright, 0921. I think I heard a knock. Oh nine twenty one. Peter boots up. Uh, uh huh. It's too dark to see a reflection, but don't worry, I'm so gorgeous. 
That's what she's saying in her head to calm down, to calm down her nerves, you know? I would, I would be doing that. The tea is cold. It's already started to evaporate. There's a stained ring just above the tea. Ugh. Wait, who's Mindy? Do I remember a Mindy? Did, was there a person named Mindy in this game yet? I'm bad with names. The History of Early Painkillers by Mindy Adams. Wow. She keeps her own essays? Oh wait, no, it's on the floor. Okay, it makes sense now. The essay itself is not very interesting. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be either. Okay. I must let. It says, Hey Em, I know you wanted to use my computer today because you have that photo project due tomorrow. The password is 9273. Mindy. M. Emily. M. Emily Smith. It must be. What was it, 9273? I already forgot. Two, seven, three. I did it. A project was shown on the screen. Save video file. It looked like it was filmed with the webcam. I press play. Are, are we actually getting a video? Oh. I thought we were going to get a cool cutscene like Seven Mysteries, but it's just a free web browser game. I, I shouldn't expect too much. And that's pretty much all that's been going on lately. I'll send this video as soon as I can. Love you, Dad. Bye. She clicked the mouse, but the webcam kept recording. Oh, that must be M. But little did you expect. A knife comes rushing through. Jacob. What are you doing here? Yep, it is them. Mindy, we we need to talk. And why exactly should I let you in? I mean, he, he's kind of in already. Because I brought you your favorite meal from the main hall. Uh, if you brought me that fried chicken again. No, silly. I brought the turkey with gravy. Uh, fine. Okay, so this is before he went crazy. Damn, that was some crazy footsteps. Okay, so why are you really here? I told you, I wanted to talk. I just... I just wanted to let you know that it was your choice, what you did. It really wasn't up to me. Well, that's not what you said to me the other day. I know what I said. You know, I wish things were different. Stop. Just stop. Look, even if you got that job, I love what I'm doing, getting into this private university with you on a scholarship I never thought I could get. I finally got my foot in the door with that internship. I just need two more years of school and my dream job is guaranteed. I know, love, you're right. It was best for our future, but it's hard not to wonder. Trust me, I wonder all the time. Let's just not talk about it anymore but min please i i said stop damn it mindy humor me for a goddamn second please just shut up i don't want to hear another second of this bull crap all this crap about what if and if i could support us things would be different did you ever think e did you ever even think for a second how i wanted to keep the baby of course i know just stop please Damn it, Mindy, every time, making me look like the bad guy. It's always about you, isn't it? How do you think I felt? Even my family was with me when you were against me. My dad was there for me that day. And where were you? Working. You were freaking working. And for what? Some dead end work for a company you hate? And what have they done for you, huh? And what have I done for you? Everything. I drop everything for you. But you continue to fail to do that for me. And I don't think you ever could. You can never truly be there for me. So shut up already. Just shut up. Stop yelling at me. Ugh. Damn. Oh my god, Jacob. What are you doing? What the hell? Shut up. Stop yelling at me! No, no, please! She was hysterical, screaming, gasping, and sobbing uncontrollably. 
Stop yelling at me. Right there? But there's not even a drop of blood on the on the yeah on the in the room. Wait, it, it, it didn't. If she just died, then shouldn't there be like Mindy? Shouldn't there be like uh what you call it? Those investigator stuff all everywhere. He stood over here, just looking down. He stared at the knife in his hand. It was a simple meat knife from the tray he brought her. Then he knelt down beside her. Wait, what? He 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 kept stabbing her. I thought he was like. Mindy, what have I done? And then he, I thought he was gonna try and clean up his mess and then escape or whatever, but instead he, he's just stabbing and stabbing. The video went on like that for five whole minutes until he finally sat down in a chair at the table. He sat there for the whole rest of the day and that night. He just sat there, kept the lights on, and stared straight ahead. I pressed the fast forward button until it was at about 9.34 a.m. Mindy, you there? I hope you're decent. I'm coming in. Uh, oh my god. Jacob, what? Hello, Emily. What, what happened to Mindy? I'm afraid you saw something you weren't supposed to see, Emily. Oh god, did, did you do this? Don't come any closer, you psycho! Go ahead, Emily. Run. I just found out I enjoyed the chase. I... Oh god, that's just awful. That guy, Jacob. This was... His... Girlfriend Storm. She, she died right next to where I'm standing. I... I think I need to sit down. Uh, you might want to go to the other one, you know. Huh? What's that? And now you're being haunted by her ghost. It's a note from Mindy, addressed to Jacob. It's a love note. Got Mindy's letter. Whoa. This is actually very nice looking. Really, really nice looking. Dearest Jacob, I know we've been fighting a lot recently, and I've been thinking... Even though you weren't there on me for me on the 29th, you were there for me on the 21st, our anniversary. Which makes me wonder if you're just in it for the easy parts, the fun parts, and maybe you are. And even though I should release you and it would be best to separate, I just want to let you know that... God damn it, cliffhangers. Cliffhangers from reading the note in my hand. What the hell? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rock music is coming through the vents. Damn it, I have to get out of here. Please don't be copyrighted though. Oh. 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 It's jam. What? Oh my god. I was not prepared for this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is so intense. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> I have to run. Oh my god, I'm so fast. What the heck? Oh my god, what are you doing? But And why? Why me? You just part... What? What? Wait, where are you going? How come you go through doors? Oh. Oh. Oh, this changes things. This changes a lot of things. Oh. Wait, you couldn't have given me a save? Aw, oh, come on. I gotta go through cutscenes. Okay, apparently you can manually save and... God damn it. Oh my god! Okay. Ah, oh, can I save here? Good. Alright, I, I have no idea. He can park. I mean, he goes through things. That's 
He's not even parkouring. He's just going straight through, which is not fair. Look at that. What the heck do you want me to do? Look at this. Oh my god. Oh heck yeah. I, I don't know what I did, but I did it. He got stuck in a box. <laughs> I don't understand either, but if I get through it, I'm cool with it. Oh, hell yeah. Damn it. Kate! Ann? Wait, is it Ann or Anna? Because I got both version. Oh my god, Kate, are you okay? Ann, there's no time, he's... Hey, over here, you bastard! His eyes stayed on me. I saw Amber panic for a second. Then I saw her take out the, her phone. Then she ran off with the phone on her ear. I knew she was calling for help. I just had to stall for time. He brandished his weapon. He was ready, but was I? Uh, wait, a double save? Okay, I'll take it. Wait, what the heck? Oh, okay. So survive the timer. Ah, that's not bad. Unless you start sprinting, then. Oh god, he really is crazy. Hoot! Juking power. Wait, I run faster than you. I honestly have nothing to worry about. All right, let's go. Let's go. Just gotta easy peasy. Can I just like? Take a car and then run him over. Come on, Jakey Poo. Only two more seconds. Oh, you definitely got me there by going that way. Stop, please. Oh my god. He's so intense, he has... M mask. I know who you are. I know what you did. Oh, 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 oh. I know who you are. You're Jacob Miller. You killed your girlfriend, Mindy. That room we were in, that was her dorm, wasn't it? I saw what happened. It was all caught on her webcam. You tried your best with her? I mean, the obvious thing is to say you killed her, but the one that might get me the best ending is you tried your best for her. She pushed you to the edge, and your emotion got the best of you. It's okay. And she loved you. I could see it. When I was in her dorm, I found this note. It's for you. I don't know, the, the dot 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 part kind of sounded like she wanted to break up. See? See? What are you doing? This means nothing. Oh my god. Damn, that's intense. Alright. Well, let's just try the other one. Uh, that's the one that got me killed, right? So you killed her? You killed her. You were in a heated argument, and your emotions got the better of you. I know what that's like, to let your emotions take control. I can't say I know what it's like to kill someone, but I do know what it's like to hurt someone. Mindy, she loved you. Even though you weren't there for her, you know, procedure, she still loved you. I could see it. Even though it seemed like she wouldn't have forgiven you, she would have given you a million chances. Mindy, she was a strong girl. I loved that about her. I miss her. Everyone thinks I killed her in cold blood, but I really didn't mean to. I panicked at first. I thought, what will everyone think of me? What did I just do? What have I become? So I decided to become the killer everyone thought I was. When I was panicking about what everyone would think of me, I also thought to myself, I could never face them again. I bought this at the party store right after I offed Emily. And she was my friend too. Mindy. Mindy. I miss you. 
You should read this. It was written by Mindy. I don't know, you guys. I think it's gonna be awkward at the end. Good thing she uh, took a few steps away. Dearest Jacob, I know we've been fighting a lot recently, and I've been thinking. Even though you weren't there for me on the 29th, you were there for me on the 21st, our anniversary. Which makes me wonder, if you're just in it for the easy parts, the fun parts, and maybe you are. And even though I should release you, and it would be best to separate, I just want to let you know that I could never not love you. No matter what happens, even if we have to separate for a short while, I will always come back. I love you, Jacob. Please don't forget that. Yours forever, Mindy. Alright, I guess that's sweet. Damn it. Mindy, I... Mindy. Jacob, I, I, I want to know. Why me? I wanted to become the killer they know me to be, but I, I couldn't bring myself to kill someone I know. You were new. You were the only person in this building that I didn't know. I just... Damn it, I'm not a killer. Mindy, I'm sorry. And that's when they rode to the scene, lights flashing. Stay right where you are, someone shouted on a megaphone as the other policemen, policemen pointed their guns from behind the open car doors. Suddenly, they were pointing them at me, or so I thought. Jacob was holding a knife above me. I didn't move. I had no idea what the hell he was doing, but then I caught a glimpse of his face. His eyes were fallen, and his brows were narrow. He wasn't looking at me, or maybe he was trying not to. I could tell that he had no true intent to kill me. Drop the weapon, they shouted. Drop the weapon, they repeated. My heartbeat resonated through my whole body. His arm was shaking. <laughs> that loop. Do as they say. But he wasn't listening. I'm sorry, Mindy. Drop the weapon, or we'll be forced to shoot. Actually, they can't fire when he's that close to me. It's actually a law, I'm pretty sure. And just like that, he was dead. I turned around, there he was, limp on the ground, bullet between his brows. I was crying before I knew what was going on. I had never seen anyone die before. And that's when you ran, ran up to me. And now, I'm here because I apparently sprained my ankle while running, and I'm a little shaken up. Also, my therapist said it might be best for me to stay here for a now. I agree with him, though. I, I don't think I'm ready to go back to school yet, either. Therapist? I didn't know you had one, Kate. How long have you been seeing him? Since May, I think, so six months. I see. Anyway, I'm really glad you came to see me. Of course, Kate, but I was so scared for you, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I've never downed anyone one in my entire life, so... It was scary. It's okay now, Anne. We're both safe. Yes, thank goodness for that. Kate, I, I, I meant to ask you something. and You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but... When you told Jacob that you knew what it was like to hurt someone, what did you mean by that? Wait, she was there the whole time? Uh, well, I mean, I guess she wasn't really needed in the scene, but cool, I, I guess. I was bullied a lot at the college I used to go to. A lot of the bullies were from the high school I used to go to. In high school, I was really overweight, and I was constantly bullied. The summer after I graduated, I was determined to lose it all because it bothered me so much. I really didn't do it for myself at first either, but... I did it, and I was really proud of myself. I purposely went to a small private college to get away from anyone who went to my high school. But it turned out that a lot of kids from my school got scholarships to go there, like I did. Oh, what? I honestly didn't think this game would extend this much further. There was only a few weeks of classes left, and a lot of girls caught me at a bad time in the showers. It was the end of a really long day, and I just wanted to clean, be clean and alone. The girls from that cornered me were the worst bullies from my high school. After graduation, the other bullies moved on, or forgot about me, but these girls never found anything better to do. I should have known what was coming when I passed them in the hall. 
Hey, Kate. Oh, wow. Look at you walking through the hall with only your short shirts and a bra. You should really zip that sweatshirt up, hun. No one wants to see that. Look, I'm really not in the mood for this today. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, I think that bra's from Veronica Secrecy. Someone thinks they're hot stuff. You're always thinking you're hot stuff. So conceited. And delusional. She posted something on Quickgram the other day that was totally vain. Oh yeah, you're right. What was the caption again? Hold on, I'll bring it up. Totally in love with my new bikini from Eternal 22. <laughs> so excited for summer. Happy face red hard palm tree. Hashtag confident. Hashtag curvy. Haha <laughs> curvy, that's cute. Haha, <laughs> it is cute. You actually look pretty nice in this picture, I have to admit. But you must use a couple filters, and we all know that's cheating. This version of you that you're sharing with the world isn't the real you. Just remember that. Yeah, that's not the real you, but this is. Did you just take a picture of me? <laughs> oh my god, you have to send that to me. I have an idea. Okay, and done. What the heck is wrong with you guys? Delete that. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're going to post it. Hmm, so what should our caption be? I got it. PSA. Curves are just fat. Stop fooling yourself like at K... Kate, sweetheart, here. Like if you agree. Laugh and cry, phase. I love it. Why would you do that? Take it down. Take it down. Why would I do that? It's gotten 12 likes in 7 seconds. You should be thanking us and thanking me for always telling you how it is and for always telling you the truth. Then I just lost my cool. Leave me alone. What the hell? Let her go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my god, somebody help. Let go of her, you freaking psycho. I tried to strangle her, but she's struggle free. Everyone saw it. Everyone saw what I had done. And I became even more of an outcast. Uh, that's awkward. It wasn't all bad, though. Things actually got better after that. The girls took down the picture, they left me alone, and no one ever bullied me again. Yet somehow, I avoided charges. My parents got a therapist for me quickly after the incident. I regret it though. Every so often, I still see her and her face turn blue. I still see her gasping for air, gasping for life. I see her suffering and by my doing, but I moved on. It's in the past. Good for her. Too bad she, she couldn't realize it a bit sooner, but good for her. I understand if this changes your opinion of me. That's terrible, Kate. I know. I wish it never happened. They bullied you for years. I mean, don't get me wrong. What you did was crazy, but if I was being constantly harassed like that, after a while, I'd snap too. Yeah, I'd probably snap as well. I'm still your friend, Kate. If you think this changes that, you're wrong. And I mean it. I've only known you for two months, but I know that you were truly a good person. I know that what you did was just a burst of pent up emotions. And thank you. I'm here for you. Don't worry about it. I hate to leave you now, but it's six o'clock now, and my mom wanted me to be home a half an hour ago. And you've been here for hours. Haha, <laughs> yeah, how about that? Kate, I I'm really glad you told me about your past. I feel like we've really let our walls down. Kate, can we take a picture? What? Come on, we'll take a selfie to document this pledge of friendship. Really, Ed? I'm laying in a hospital bed. I'm not ready for a picture. Oh, stop. You still look cute. How cute? The cutest. Now smile. Oh, uh, so cute. Ending four, you no longer have to hide heart. Wait, what do you mean by heart? 
I don't understand it. Whose heart? Well, uh, by the looks of it, I think we got the best ending. Questionably, possibly. Uh, look at what do you know? All by Courtney and Ashley Kale. Or Kyle. Probably Kale. Kale? I don't know. But, good for you guys. Must be sisters, I bet. Some random dude plugins. Testers. That's cool. Alright. Hey, special thanks to the Tolok. Tolik family and KL family in the run Marty person or Mart's person. This is my first game, so if you have any feedback, good or bad, write it on Hyde Heart Facebook page. Thanks, Courtney KL. Great job, really. For your first RPG Maker game, you kind of went above and beyond because you had alternative endings. It was, it was pretty decent, I think. Uh, let's see what happens if we don't tell about the past, though. Oh, wait. Damn it. Damn it! Well, that, that kind of sucks for me. I mean, I did want to play from the very, very beginning because there was, like, this one part that I was confused on. Like, what if we chose not to hide in the vent? What if we chose to hide in, like, the cabinet? I mean, the... in the... that... You guys will see what I mean. Okay, so... I know he goes into the bathroom in terms of the story, but... I'll see where else I could hide. Let's see what happens if I try to hide in the cabinet. We know that he goes to the bathroom. But I feel like he could have potentially looked in the cabinet as well. Oh wait, did I actually... I'm actually good? I heard him go into the bathroom and I waited a while for him to leave, but he never did. I knew he would find me eventually if I stayed here. I had to act. Oh, whoa. It is a lot different. Um, Let's text Anne and that way she could call the police. I typed a message with clammy fingers and I waited. God, everything's all clammy. He was in the bathroom for a while, but then I heard him come back into the room. I could hear him shuffling through my room. He turned the bed over. He knocked over the chair. He kicked the boxes down. And then it was quiet, but only for a moment. Ooh, I think you got lucky, girl. Ooh. No, please. No, no. Alright, well we didn't get an official ending, but we got one. I think the right option is to opt in running or escaping the ca the cabinet. Alright, let's try calling the police first. Hello. Come on, pick up. 911, what's your... Hi, yes, there's an entrailer in my dorm, and I think he's the escaped convict, Jacob Miller. Plays, I... Yeah, he definitely didn't hear that. You're, you're very, very secretive, girl. Yep, I had a feeling. Alright, let's choose the escape option. Here goes nothing. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, wait. We ended up back here? No way. Oh, we're actually closer to the door, too. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's that's very, very cool, actually. Oh. Okay, maybe we didn't. Cause... Oh. Yeah, get, get, get attacked by that box. Oh, no. This is where I'm going to die. Yeah. Oh my god, I got super burst mode. Are you kidding me? That shift button is so powerful. So, so powerful. Uh, Alright, so I'm assuming... Uh, was it Courtney? Courtney, I think you totally forgot about the shift button. You could actually uh, check mark it off on your maps. Just so you know. 
I, I was wondering why this was super easy. Where is he going? <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, what? We did not get this image earlier. That's so sick. I love it. I love the fact that you guys are an artist. I don't know which one of you, you girls did it, or maybe like your other friends did it, but it's great. Wish I was an artist. Oh, oh, he, he got... Wait, what? 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 I totally missed it. I gasped as I felt his arm constrict me. I could feel a knife kiss my Adam's apple. Drop the weapon, they shouted. I had never been so still in my life. I was afraid that if I took a breath, it would cut into me. Drop the weapon, they repeated. My heartbeat resonated through my whole body. But he didn't move. Drop the weapon or we'll be forced to shoot. Shazam bam. And just like that, he was dead. I screamed. I couldn't help it. They put the bullet between, right between his brows, and then he fell limp in the parking lot. I was crying before I knew what was going on. Then through the blur, I could hear someone. Get out of my way! I have to see Kate! Kate! Oh my god! I crawled to the sidelines to meet Anne. She embraced me. Eventually, I was given one of those panic blankets. I was pretty shaken. Oh, that must be boyfriend. And that's how I ended up here. I see. It's just, I still don't understand why he went after me. What do you mean by that? Like, why me? Like, I told you before, Anne tried to distract him, but he wanted me. Miss Hart, Kate, oh, he's the doctor. Oh, her last name is Hart. Miss Hart, Kate. The police still haven't found a connection between the deceased victims. They're saying he was just a spree killer with no real motive. He... Couldn't have. I'm sorry, but the police have made up their minds. Here's another question. Why do you feel like you were targeted? What? Do you think you are convincing yourself you were targeted to justify this unexplainable traumatizing experience that happened to you? No, I... I'm not. Maybe this conclusion was made based on what we talked about in our last session. No, this has nothing to do with that. Please don't yell, Kate. Calm down. But I... I'm afraid that means we're out of time for this session. Please, try and get some rest, Miss Hart. Oh, their footsteps sounds like door knocks. No, I I had to be I had to be targeted. Did I just imagine it? When Aunt tried to distract him? Maybe he didn't hear her. No, but why why me? And they won. Maybe it's better not to know. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I kind of wish that they had like she put an image for each ending. I think that would have been even more cool. But it's so cool. All right, for this ending, we're gonna try to hide in the bathroom. We know he goes straight in the bathroom, but maybe I can like somehow finagle myself out. I quickly dragged a wheeled curtain towards me for cover. For cover. And what are you gonna do? Imagine he came in here because he really had a pee. He was like, "Ah oh, man, I gotta pee real quick." Ah, all right, back to killing people. Where is she? <laughs> oh, I thought she was doing that. He's in the other room. Check the the, the next door room over. <laughs> He's in the room. I had to keep quiet and not make a noise. I remember being petrified as still as I thought I was. I was still shaking. He was slowly walking around and I had to, 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 ugh. I had to time my breathing so he couldn't hear me. Listen, when you hear him making noise, breathe. What? How do I breathe? Oh, oh, that was horrible. Oh. Wait, what? 
Oh. Wait, what? Am I supposed to... Do I wait? Or... Oh, oh I heard a noise. <laughs> Is that how it works? Hoo hoo hoo, I'm pretty good. Phew, I think he's gone. Hey, since you already searched this room, that means you could just hide here until the police come. Is that the police? What was that? Drop the weapon. Hands where I can see them. Step away from the door. What the? Wait, who called the cops? Huh? Oh my gosh, Kate, you're okay, thank god! We were so worried about you. Are you okay? W what happened? He tried to make a break for it. He came running out of your room, but the police caught him. The police have him now, thank god. I hope he gets the death penalty. Messiah, I mean it, Joel's. He deserves it with all he's done. Oh my god, Kate, when we saw him break into your room, oh god, I was so scared. As soon as he broke into the building, we called the police. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Oh my god, there's too many voices. I can only do like two girl voices. No, no, I'm fine. You say that, but are you sure? No, I'm pretty shaken, actually. Don't worry, Kate, it's over. And thank God for that. You're safe now, Kate. If you ever need anything, just let us know. We're here for you, Kate. Thank you, all of you. It means a lot. Kate, if you want to stay in my door tonight, you can. I, I like that. I'm a little scared to be by myself right now. Can I stay with you, too? Jules, you can't just invite yourself, but, um, can I stay with you girls, too? Of course, we should all stay together tonight. See? When something bad happens, stick together. Don't go and lock yourself in your own rooms. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, all of you. Wow. You know, to be honest, this is like the safest ending. This is, in my opinion the best ending because she goes out of it harm free she she doesn't take any mental damage towards it she she nothing really drastically changed her life i eventually told them the story the next day they were very supportive of me we became really close after that well it's nice to hear that you're making friends yeah it is nice and this one she made friends i mean she always had she already had that one friend but you know what i'm talking about now, Kate, have you considered letting these girls into your personal life? What do you mean? I mean about your aunt's incident. <clears throat> I mean, I, I guess with ending 4, she moves forward from her past, which I guess is better. Opening up to your therapist is one thing, but opening up to a friend? I understand what you're saying. I've been thinking about telling Anne, but I don't want to scare her. Kate, what happened to you was completely natural in your case. I know it meant completely. I'm just kidding with you guys. Especially with you, creator, if you're watching. From what you've told me, Kate, she seems to really care about you. I'm certain she'll understand. Mm, dramatic pause. Maybe you're right. I think I'll tell her. I'm happy for you, Kate. It seems we are out of time for today. Email me and let me know if the same time works for you next week. Sounds good. I'll let you know. Kate? Yeah? I'm really proud of the progress you're making. You've come a very long way. I feel like the worst is behind me. I feel like... What happened to me last week with that Jacob man really proved something. I proved to myself that I'm strong. That I'm smart. 
I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Thank you, Dr. M, for everything. See you next week, Kate. <laughs> Dramatic pauses. Slow motion walk away. Damn, doesn't even look back. Jeez. Ending 2, Kate Hart, Survivor. So, obviously, ending 2 and 4 is the best one, when ending 4 being the very best, because that at least uh, changed her life, and ending 2, she kind of just became a survivor. But with ending 2, she's slowly breaking out of her shell and uh, accepting her past and willing to let her friends in, which... Which is also pretty good, it's just that when ending 4, it happened faster, and something dramatic happened, so it really got her to do it, whereas ending 2, it's more like... What am I saying? <laughs> when ending 2, it, it's more, uh, more slow-paced and rhythmic. Alright, so let's say I know what you did. I know what you did. How you killed your girlfriend, Mindy. She loved you, you know. She would have forgiven you. It would have taken some time, but the way she looked at you at times, she would have given you a million second chances. Wait, how would you know the way she looked at him? There was a note in her room, and it was written for you. Uh, okay, so this choice kind of just immediately gives him and then gets her killed. Uh, Alright. Alright. So we definitely know where ending 3 is. Cool. Alright, we made it here, so let's not tell her this time. Honestly, Ant, I'd rather not talk about it. Are you sh are you sure? Yeah. You shouldn't worry about me, though. I've been getting help for a while now, and honestly, I feel like the worst is behind me. Honestly, you being here for me, being such a good friend, has really helped me. So, thank you, Ant. Glad, but if you ever feel like talking about it, I'm here. Thank you. I hate to leave you now, but it's six o'clock now, and my mom wanted to be home half an hour ago. And you've been here for hours. I I, I can't help that this hospital has good pizza. And your story that kept me here too. Uh huh. Anyway, thanks again for coming to see me. No problem, Kate. I'll see you later. Oh snap, before I go, I just realized we've never taken a picture together yet and we've been friends for like two months. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's take a selfie. Really, Ed? I'm laying in a hospital bed. I I'm not ready for a picture. Oh stop, you look too, so cute. Uh, okay, just for you. Oh, I thought she was going to be like, no, I can't do pictures. <laughs> so secrets stay secrets. And then three. Alright, so ending 3 is just a simplified version of ending 4, but I think ending 4 is much more overwhelming than ending 3, and since ending 4, the only difference between ending 3 and ending 4, mechanic-wise, is just between the two choices and the two options, I would just eliminate ending 3 altogether and make a, somehow force its way towards ending 4. So rather than giving that player that choice, or maybe give the player a choice, but have the dialogue slightly different, but eventually end up in ending 4 regardless. Overall, for your first game that you made, I think it was really good. Like I said, having ending 2, or having at least one of the endings different in mechanics from the others, is a very exceptional job. I like how in ending 1, it was ending 1 because... Well, I mean to say, it was ending 1 versus ending 4. Even though we went through that fight scene and the killer still like got his hold of me. The reason why it became ending 1 is because we never found that letter. So, that was cool. That was really cool for us, the players, to catch for ourselves. I really like that. I really like the... You, you can do art. I'm jealous. I wish I could. So again, great job. Um, I understand that you did not want to have the player use sprint or hold the shift button to make them move faster. It's called dashing in RPG Maker. You could go to the map properties and uncheck that. Other than that, with the end chasing, 
I would shorten it. Just because in the assumptions that I do not have the capability to sprint away from the killer, and I do have to slowly like maneuver my way around them, I say one minute is a bit dragging it. 30 seconds would be cool, 40 seconds would be cool too, but with one minute it feels very draggy and it, it makes the player feel like the reason it is one minute is because it takes a while for the killer to catch up to the player and for the player to have themselves in a bad position. Meaning that the first, I don't know, 30 seconds or 20 seconds will always be easy but only the last 10 seconds will be difficult because you had to wait for the killer to catch up to the player. So yeah, for your first time, I really enjoyed the game. Great job. I also really like the title screen. Very simple and it's a good font too. Good font that matches this game pretty well. And believe it or not, as simple as it is, it really captures me and it really makes me want to play this game. <laughs> but hey, guys, feel free to let her know what you guys thought about the game in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure that they'll always be snooping at the comment sections as well as the thoughts, my thoughts towards this game they're also looking at your guys thoughts so please do let her know down in the comments below other than that consider liking the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao